I can't believe that they have a variegated Apuntia. Oh gosh, look, there's another one over there. This is legitimately like a tornado. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to Ikea and I got all of this from Ikea. They are amazing and I have to get some more today. Now, I don't think I'm gonna get the exact same kind, but I have a corner over here I'll show you on the camera um, that's just really needs some help. I need to organize it. I have a ton of plants just on the floor. It has been so awesome to collect a lot of plants recently, but I just need to organize it and, and set something up and a place to put them. So I'm also looking forward to seeing what plants they have at Ikea. They seem to have a really nice selection every time I go and they have amazing plants. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I am in love with house plants and plants in general. Um, and this channel's for crazy plant people like me. So if that brings a smile to your face, you may want to subscribe. Uh, that's the only way for my videos to show up in your news feed. So if you don't wanna miss a video, you may want to subscribe. I'm also on Instagram and we don't have far to go. We only have a little bit farther to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram and then I'm going to do an awesome plant giveaway. In addition to my plant shelves, I do use a lot of grow lights as you see and our sponsor today is a grow light company that I use their grow lights all the time so I'm excited to share them with you guys. Now I didn't use grow lights for a long time and since using grow lights I will never never go back. Supplemental grow lights have made the biggest difference to how much growth I get out of my plants. The growth I'm experiencing in this room is next level. Nowhere else in my house has amazing growth happening. You know, if you want growth on your plants or supplemental grow lights, you know, I say go for it. I highly recommend it. This grow light company is called Bright Labs and all they do are grow lights. So they're really good at what they do. Um, here's an example of one of the lights that I have. I really like this one because it's it clips, it's really strong so it holds on to a shelf. For a lot of setups, having a clip on is super easy. You can move the grow lights around as needed. I like that this one has three on there. They're easily adjustable. Move them around to, to face the different plants that I want or away from certain plants that don't need as much light maybe. You can kind of adjust which ones you want on. You can adjust the, the level, which is really nice. It also has a timer. So this is the dimmer. This switches out the different lights on and off. This one, three hour, six hour, 12 hour timer. It's very easy to use. It's not a complicated product, which is important for me. I, I like something that's easy to use. And Bright Labs is an affordable product that I personally recommend because I use them all the time. I'm already very selective in what I recommend to you guys because I all I have is my word to go by, you know, and they are a good company and their grow lights are great. Bright Labs is offering some really cool stuff for you guys. First, they're offering 10% off your order um, using my code Ashley10. I will include the link to their website in my description below. Again, that's code Ashley10. They also have an amazing giveaway going on, which on July 5th, they will be choosing three amazing winners um, and they will be announcing it on their Instagram stories and sending via email to the three winners who they are. So give them a follow on Instagram. Make sure you enroll in the giveaway so that you guys don't miss out on that. I do need to mention that the giveaway is for US addresses only. The best way to order is to go to their website. There is a lot of great information. Go to the shop section and you'll see all their different products that they offer. Again, like I said, it's all grow lights. Don't forget to use the code Ashley10 for 10% off your order. All right, I'm so ready to go to Ikea and do some shopping, so let's go. They have these crates here and I've seen other people using the crates as a way to, you know, set up plant shelves um, and you can stack them and do all sorts of cool stuff and I didn't realize they sell these at Ikea. They're $10. I know there are other places you can get them, you know, but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool and then they have the smaller size ones and they're $5.99. 
And I've seen people kind of stack them like this. You can stack them on top of each other, side by side. Um, and instead of these, you know, jars, you would put your plants in there, that kind of thing. This would be a neat option. Um, of course, I'm, you know, I'm looking for white, uh, but I like these, you know, you can hang them up. I could put my plants on there. Um, I could even do two side by side like they have here. So, you know, these are 69 and they're LAC, L-A-C-K. I also like this idea where it's just your standard shelves. They're a nice size. They're $14.99, which to buy shelves on Amazon are, I think, pretty expensive. Um, but to have nice size ones like this and uh, one of the things to consider when I've learned through trial and error when looking for shelves like this is to make sure they're wide enough here for you to be able to put your plants on because a lot of times they will have something blocking it and you may not be able to put you know a nice size potted plant on there um, so that's always something to consider and this one is a like barely barely big enough but it's an option. This is an example of the types of shelves that I have already. The size I have is different, um, but it's this Fitzjo. Fitzjo, it's, uh, this one's $49.99, and this is actually a nice size. Darn, it says it's temporarily unavailable, of course. I have a feeling I'm gonna have some troubles finding one today. Um, you know, keeping my fingers crossed, but I really like that. Um, the nice thing with these is that they're open on all sides to let light in, there's glass separating. Again, just helps with light, you know, moving through. Um, so, and the space in between the shelves is a good amount of space. We have some more shelves here. This is the size I currently have in my um, in my plant room in white, $70 $79, the best deal ever. Uh, it's just temporarily unavailable. Again, we'll go check it out. Um, they have these here, these are 49. There's just not enough space in between for, for my plans. Um, Cause I don't necessarily need one that goes all the way up to the ceiling. It would be nice to have one that goes halfway that I could put my plants, my tall plants on top of. This is a popular one for to make an IKEA greenhouse cabinet. This is really cute, like a little um, stand to put your plants. That's a maybe actually. How much is it? Fifty dollars. Mm. I just saw these cork mats here and uh, a lot of people use them, you know, for heat, um, hot pots and stuff like that, but they're fantastic for plants. Um, if you wanna put a pot on there to prevent water soaking through or creating a ring on your, um, you know, plant shelf or something, these are really awesome. And they actually look really nice. And uh, they have these here at, for $3, or sorry, $3.99 for a three pack. Looks like they have some of these available. 169 in the blue and the yellow. Great IKEA greenhouse cabinet option. These are the ones that I'm really, you know, if I had my pick, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to get creative, which is kind of fun to do. Um, but if I had my first choice, it would be one of these. Uh, you know, I actually would like one like this in white to put in that spot, like I said, so I can put my plants up top, my tall ones, and then have room on the bottom, stick a couple um, to put my grow light. And yeah, that would be perfect, but there's a good chance it's unavailable. Now it looks like they do have some black available. I mean, I don't know. 
we'll go see what they have in inventory. But something like that would be great. They have this one, um, which is great, you know, but it does, it is wood in between, which will prevent the light. But, you know, a lot of light can still get in on all sides there. And this one's 119. This one is 69. Here we have some more. Um, so this one looks really nice. I've seen all these, you know, as Ikea greenhouse cabinets. This one here is 59. Looks like they do have some in the black available, but not in the white. It says temporarily unavailable. Hmm. They have lots of options for shelves. So I'll just have to go downstairs and see what we have available. This one's cool. 119, one, 119 Roots, duh. I think this one right here is everyone's favorite when it comes to the perfect choice for IKEA greenhouse cabinet, and it's the Mills Bow, the, the large size one, 229. This one's nice, 29.99. You know, absolutely massive. We'll go across the, the wall, get fit tons of plants on there. Um, and I like it because it is wide enough for some nice plants, uh, some nice sized ones, and it doesn't have something blocking blocking me from putting them on there. So um, that's an option. I could also do something like this that's very simple, uh, you know, where I just put these rods up and then I can just hang my plants from there and just, I can get the little hooks and hang them up that would look really neat. I don't know if that would be extra work though. These are kind of nice. I know they're supposed to be kitchen carts, but how nice would it be to like put your plants on there and have wheels <laughs> for watering and all that kind of thing. Just easily move things around and the glass top's easy to clean. Um, I like that. Last time I was here, one of my friends pointed these out as a really neat option um, when you're hanging plants because you can just keep hang, you can hang one, then hang another one, then hang another one, and uh, just put your plants in there. And I thought that was a really unique concept. It would be easy to bottom water in these, so uh, and take them apart if you need to. I think those are very interesting. They're $11.99. in the bathroom section as I've mentioned before there are a lot of great options in like the bathroom section of Ikea for plant shelves so um, you know this one's nice 99 open on all sides which is awesome and then they have other options which are a little less expensive this wooden one here is 54.99 and then this black one is 69 so those are all options does anyone else get the loud cart every time they pick out a cart? Like, it's so loud. I'm already looking crazy over here with my huge camera and my microphone. And then on top of it, I get the loud cart. Great, just great. I've, the last few times I've done these videos, I've mentioned over here in the like, I don't know what you call this, closet, closet section. Um, they have these coat racks and I actually purchased this white one the last time and I do use it for my hanging plants and a few people have commented that they love that idea. Um, so, and it works really great. I hang my hanging plants on there and it's nice to have an option like that. And it's only uh, $19.99. <laughs> so that won me over $20 and I have a spot to hang hang my hanging plants. This one's a really great deal as well that I've considered. It's only $10 and it would be a great thing to put like in front of your window and hang your plants. Um, especially if you don't want to drill holes in your wall and do curtain rods and stuff. This is a nice option. Loads of shelves. Over here is one of my favorite sections and it's all the baskets. Now I do find a lot of wicker baskets and that kind of thing, thrifting of course, but sometimes you just want 
what you want. And uh, these are at a great rate. Some of the other places, they're $40 for a basket. Here at Ikea, you can get one like this. This one's $10. And I have a few of these, um, and they're fantastic. They're absolutely beautiful. They're the perfect size for a planter. Uh, I'm, I love their baskets here. And they have a lot of different options. Uh, they're just really nice planter options. If you want to put a nursery pot in there, not spend a lot of money on a planter. They have some absolutely huge ones here. They are $24.99 and it's so big. That's fantastic if you have a big fiddly fig or a big monstera or something like that that you want to uh, to put in a basket and not you know break the bank. You can get something like that for $25 versus a $100 planter, which is something I just recently bought. These are really nice. They're $25. Good size. I like that they're black and then they have the little leather um, strap detail. Just gives it a little something extra, helps with carrying. It's really nice. I've left my cart somewhere after I talked all bad about it. Now I can't find it. Uh -huh. Okay, cart. Let's keep going. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tempted to just get this one. It's really cool, natural wood, rustic looking. It's $46. I like how much space there is in between the shelves for my larger size plants. I don't know, maybe this is it. I can pick it up in the self-serve furniture area. $50. As long as it's easy to put together, that might, this might work for me. All right, it looks like there's kind of a lot to it. So I don't know if that will work, but maybe. Oh my goodness, what is this? Hmm. Shelf unit, perfect for plants and pots. Cover it. Wow. That's kind of interesting. Ugly, but interesting. <laughs> Look, they have a little mini one. The reason why this is interesting to me is because I'm sure it holds in humidity, which is great. Um, kind of cool. So this is what it is. Coming into the plant section, we have some really cute planters here. They're, I think, four inch pots. They're $2.99. It's a good find. Nice cash pot, helps with bottom watering. Um, these are great. They have little terrarium options and cloche, which are nice for plants that need high humidity like begonias, um, that kind of thing, that really just benefit from having that enclosed space, which really brings the humidity up. All right, I'm in my favorite section. Of course, it is the plant section. Um, they do have a lot of planters, as you guys can see. So I'll be, you know, going over those and then exploring the plants that they have in stock. This is exciting. Loads of planters, of course, with it being Ikea. They're all very cute and uh, very reasonably priced. So these, um, it's like a four or five inch planter. They are concrete. $3.99, such a great deal. And then they have these cash pots as well. Not cash pots, I'm sorry, the saucers. And here are some more. Sometimes it's hard to tell what the exact price is. They have large concrete ones, smaller ones, ranging from two to $10. Such a great find. Oh, these are really nice for bottom water. Really nice gray ones, cute little blue ones. These green ones are a pretty color. All ranging from $2 to $5. Have some more, oh, I really like these beige ones. Six inch, six inch planters, $7.99. Uh, again, I don't know if these bottom ones are maybe self-watering, I don't. I don't know. They have these terracotta pots. They are 
almost five inch planters um, and they come with the saucer for five dollars so that's nice like they're a good size and then the 10 inch ones are ten dollars They have a ton of white planters here. These absolutely massive ones, they're 12 inch pots. They are $25, which is just absolutely, this is unbelievable, really amazing. And these are 15. Little baskets, some are hanging, hanging ones. They range from $5 uh, to 20. Again, most of these are four to five dollars. Um, the little tiny ones here are one or two dollars. Here we have some more baskets. Big assortment of them, they range, these are seven eight dollars and then these large baskets are between 20 to 30 dollars depending which one then they also have all these macrame hangers up here look at all these cute guys three dollars two dollars no same price as if i was thrifting but you get brand new which is nice and over here we have a bunch of plant stands this one's cute. It has where you can put the plants on the bottom and then on the top. All right, I'm ready to take a look at some of these plants. I've been dying to see what they have. Uh, they have these beautiful Dracaena, $24. Really large size plants, easy care. Um, easy care babies. Look how beautiful they are. We have some more Dracaena, $12.99 some fern looks like some money trees a nice size money tree a little fiddle over here they have more stands um, little terrarium over there as you can see watering cans even more planters some large size ones these are $3.99 and they have some really cute ones. Um, some Dracaena, they have a Peperomia obtusifolia, the world's easiest plants. Well, one of them for sure. Some more Peperomia obtusifolia. Then we have uh, Golden Pothos. Down here looks like some Jade. Kind of looking through, oh, looks like a bird's nest Sansevieria back there. Really, gosh, look at this Aglionema, just so incredibly vibrant. Then we have peace lilies. Uh, they're really healthy, beautiful. Look at all the flowers. They are $12.99. Then we have some gorgeous ficus. Um, these are ginseng. Uh, and really nice little bonsai. And these gorgeous planters, they are 40 Some more golden pothos. Bird's Nest Sansevieria there, so cute. <laughs> Look at all of these stunning Kalanchoes. I love the colors. Ooh, that red is really popping. So beautiful. Some more Golden Pothos. Again, these are $3.99, such a great deal. The Kalanchoes are $4.99. And then they also have some of these Bromeliads. They are, they're $10. They have these beautiful Phalaenopsis orchids, stunning colors, purple ones, yellow ones, so beautiful. Lots of cacti, they actually are looking really healthy. Has some old man ones here is what they're called with all the hair on them. Little blue guy back there, look at these colorful ones. Some smaller size bromeliads. Succulents down here. More cacti. These little succulents are so fuzzy. The little leaves just have a layer of delightful fuzz on them. I just love fuzzy plants. 
They have these cacti here and you can get a pack of three um, for $12 and look, there, there's a there's a rare one in there. Um, it's an Apuntia, but it's a variegated Apuntia. <laughs> so that's a great find. I can't believe that they have a variegated Apuntia in, uh, in this Ikea. Oh gosh, look, there's another one over there. So it's worth kind of looking through and see what you can find. This one even has an Astrophytum in there. That one has an Astrophytum as well. I believe it's an Astrophytum, looks like it. Yeah, if you guys go to your Ikeas, it looks like um, a lot of the Apuntias are variegated in the little packs of three. Loads of cacti and succulents. They have a domino cactus here, which is nice to see. Jade, like I said, lots of old man cactus i just love all the like fuzzy hair that grows on them um they have these which are really nice they have that blue powder on them i forget what that stuff's called but it really really looks nice in person yeah great assortment i'm still reeling that they have variegated apuntias in those three packs for 12 three cacti for 12 unbelievable happens to me it has been it has started raining while I was at Ikea and now I'm waiting so that I can take all my stuff to the car because it's thunderstorming I mean even with an umbrella everything would get drenched can you hear it's so loud and it's thundering like a tornado. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know what's going on. I think it's like some it's sort of, it's like a tornado. It's, this is wild. I've been here at least 20 minutes now. Okay, I'm here. I don't know, this is crazy. Well, I had to go for it. I am completely drenched. I I mean, totally, totally drenched. I I mean, it's just a little bit of rain. It's not a big deal. I was had been waiting forever and there was like a small gap and I'm still totally drenched. A nice man gave me a big bag to put my camera in um, and no umbrella was gonna help. I had to do my car. I don't have someone with me to like pull up to the front of Ikea. Okay guys, I just got back. That was absolutely wild. I don't know what was happening with the weather. It was craziness, but that was probably the most exciting part of this video if I'm thinking about it. All right, so now it is the haul portion of the video. I did get a bunch of stuff from Ikea. Not a lot of it is planty stuff, to be honest. I, they didn't have in stock what I wanted and it's super important for me when it comes to my planty stuff to like wait and get exactly what I need. So I'll put a picture here of what I'm going to get. But I did walk away with a couple of planters. These were $2.99. There were so many planters. I will probably be doing a huge, huge, massive, ginormous haul from Ikea of planters soon. Um, once I get all my shelves set up and my plants put up, then I'm going to be buying cash pots for everything. It just makes my life so much easier with bottom watering. Looks nice. The stuff from Ikea is so reasonable. The downstairs is finally coming together. Uh, we used a, a website called Modsy and we were assigned a designer and she like helped me pick out furniture and that kind of stuff. So the downstairs, you know, is about done. So I can start putting my plants down there and organizing this room. And then the next step after that is to do a tour for everybody, which will be super exciting. There are so many cool videos coming up this month of July. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that way. My videos will show up in your news feed. That's really what subscribing is, is like making sure that you see what videos I put out. Um, that way you don't miss one since I do post a couple times a week. And look me up on Instagram 
Instagram because we're about to hit 10,000 and that means a big plant giveaway, which is really exciting. A um, big, big thank you to Bright Labs for sponsoring this video, the grow light company I recommend for you guys. I've included the link in my description. And just a reminder, they have offered 10% off for you guys with my code Ashley10. And they do have a giveaway on July 5th, they'll be announcing three winners for their giveaway. So I hope a uh, Plant Life with Ashley and Anita viewer wins their giveaway. That would be really, really cool. Hey, thanks for tagging along with me and doing some shopping. It's always such a pleasure. And leave a comment on if there's anything you would have picked out today if we would have been plant shopping. Let me know how it's going. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.